want to tell us what happened to your hand? Mm -hmm. uh, I was actually cut by a grinder. I was working at home and using a baby grinder and I just got stuck because I'd used the, the wood disc. So it's got some spikes at the edge and it got stuck on a nail in the and that would that I was cutting and slipped out of my right hand and I, I guess uh, spontaneously I was protecting my face and used my hand to to block the grinder and it, 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 it made a cross cut through the wrists and across the thumb. We've seen the photo, it's pretty scary yeah, what yeah. happened. Yeah, when I saw it the first time, I thought yeah, I'd lost my thumb. <laughs> yes, well, yeah. you're very lucky that you didn't yeah. lose your thumb. And w you had surgery, and this was earlier this year. Yeah, it was actually in, on the 30th of March, because okay. I got injured on the 27th. And um, you also went for extensive hand therapy yep. afterwards. Mm. And they did a really good job, but the problem is the scarring because the scar had kind of stuck to the fascia below yeah. and making it difficult for you to move your fingers. Especially my thumb. And especially your thumb. Mm. Describe how your fingers felt. Yeah, my, my thumb wouldn't bend and it got just stuck and the, the fingers were, every time I went to sleep, if I sleep with my hand open in the morning, I could not fold it. If, if it is folded, it will be difficult to open it in the morning. And what you can see here is that this scar tissue is very adherent. Um, and it's this reasonable RP joint motion, but the, the MP joint is very, very stiff. You can feel that. Yeah. We're creating electric shocks, are we? Yeah. And, uh... I think it's, it's also in the mind because of what... <laughs> okay, it's a little bit in the mind. Yeah. So, um, also you can see that this thumb just sits in, sits in extension. So we want to bring it, bring it over into opposition. And I'm going to... We want to encourage this joint motion, okay? So it's a tricky cast to make because normally when I use it, the Sims technique for the thumb, I'm just, I'm blocking the MP joint just to gain RP joint motion. But this gentleman has driven two hours to see me and I can't see him for a few weeks. So what I want to do is actually be very clever with how I position the thumb. Now let's simulate it. So I'm bringing your thumb over. Now bend for me. Bend. So you're going to be moving away. Can you feel that? Mm -hmm. So you're positioned to move. You're positioned to move and then you will go up and then you will come down. And what's going to happen is the cast is going to massage your scar. Okay. And we're actually almost going to stretch this tissue to try and get some range. So that's what we're going to do. Okay, so what we're going to, first of all, is pop a little stocking. And it's going to help your joints. Now, you also find your fingers are getting stiff, correct? Yeah. Okay. So I'm going to do something special and that we're going to do a two in one so that this cast also blocks you here and then you're going to bend your fingers. So there's going to be these exercises to keep the fingers because these are very powerful joints. There's nothing wrong with those. Mm -hmm. We're going to immobilize them and that's going to keep those joints mobile but also what it's going to do is, is the flexor tendons are going to pull through under that scar tissue mm. okay so we're going to help mobilize the scar tissue as well all right yeah. so let's first and, the, and there's something that's developing here right there yeah, yeah so it's like yes could be a little ganglion Mm. Or could be a little neuroma. Is that electric shocks? Yeah, yeah. It was just, it just gave a very sharp, sudden pain. Okay. Mm. Could be. No, not an electric shock type pain. No, no, but a, a, a very painful one. Okay. And, and uh, that uh, drew some, some muscles, yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah, we might have to 
sort that out separately. But let's focus on this for now. Okay, so I've popped the stocking net on and we're going to be immobilizing the MP joints. So I'm going to wrap two layers of stocking net. Okay, oh, not stocking net, cotton padding. So you said this class is going to be for three? Three weeks and then hopefully we can make it removable. But if with this heat, you might need a new one. Okay. So after three weeks need to come back here? You need to come back and then we, we remove it. We either make a new one or we make it into a removable cast. Okay, so now... Now what you do is you make sure that you free up where you want the joint to move. So I'm just going to cut this away here. Um, because I'm wanting the joint to move in that direction. Okay, so you keep your elbow still on the table, all right? And we're also going to give you a little bit of wrist extension, just a little bit, and then this thumb will come around. Mm. The Paris in the water. Okay. Like that, squeeze out the excess water, and then we're going to go in line with where our stocking net is. I work fairly quickly. Keep your elbows stabilized on the table, Mr. Zulu. Thank, Thank you me. very much. Don't <laughs> lift it. Then it's floating in the air and it's very unstable for me mm. to work with. Well, um, does it become hot? So we're going to bring, it will become warm. We're going to bring your thumb around. So I start to position the thumb where I want it to go at this point. And you can always tell when you've got really nice material because the material is almost milky and it's soft. And now you rub. So this is going to pull down here. So this patient is going to have two different exercises. Um, I want so you want the wrist back. Relax. Don't fight me. Okay. Relax. Thank you. And I want that joint there. So I'm going to have to reinforce this bit here a little bit. And this will come up there. So what I'm going to do for reinforcement is I'm going to take my plaster of Paris and I'm going to make a wedge. Oh, it's getting hot right now. You can feel the warmth. Yeah. And I use room temperature water. If you use water that's too hot, it does, it's exothermic, so it will get very hot. We don't want that. Okay, that should be enough. Then I dip that in, and then this is just going to be my post that is going to bring the thumb around. Can you feel that? It's very warm, actually. Yeah, no, I'm surprised because what is this? Why I, I, I was <laughs> warmth is good. Warmth is good. Okay. So, That's what's not in. right, let me just make sure. That I can actually just bring this away just a little bit. 
it's super difficult to do this down the line. All right. Can you now, let's simulate what we've done. So we're we bringing the thumb round into our position. Okay, let's start with the fingers. Bend your fingers for me, okay, and straighten up. So we want to make sure that the little finger comes a little further down. Pop your hand on the table. I'm just going to cut this a little bit. You don't want to do this when it's dry, and you don't want to do this at the follow-up appointment. You want to make sure you get it right early on. Mm -hmm. I'm thinking now, I was not thinking about making my buttons. <laughs> okay, right. You're going to need help. Okay, bend your fingers over for me, and you're going to straighten. Okay, beautiful, beautiful. Now this one, now, with the thumb, because this is going to be stabilized, move your thumb towards this index finger of mine. Away, good, and back. And then the other thing you're going to do is you're going to bend it down. So you're going to bend it there and straighten. And you do this repeatedly. Bend, straighten. Look, your index finger wants to move. That's fine. If you bend the index finger, it will help. It will help the thumb. Okay, mm -hmm. bend them together. Yes. Can you see how, how it helps? Yeah. Okay. Okay, so before, because the final layer seals everything. So I want to make sure it's perfect. And I have to tell you, this plaster of Paris is unusually hot. Mm. Okay, super. Now, bend for me. Good. Can you feel what it's doing yeah. versus not being in a cast? Yeah. yeah? Okay. And I want you to con focus on moving this part of your thumb towards my finger. Move it away and back. And move it and back. And move it. And what's actually happening here is underneath this that scar is being massaged mm. okay super now we're going to put the the final layer on you said three weeks yes three weeks it needs time mm -hmm. but you'll see you'll see an improvement in hours you'll see more of an improvement in the next few hours than you have in months Okay, so now I'm making sure that all of this has the plaster that I want. I have working time. You don't need to rush it. Okay, lift your arm for me a little bit. Thank you. Now we're coming around here. Okay, so I need to seal some more. I like, to, I just dip my hands into the water, I rub off the excess, and then I just smooth use smooth. that to make it smooth. How does that feel? Okay, this, I actually think I'm going to reinforce it. This is a good point because it's a little bit weak here. And with the heat that we're having in South Africa, that can only get worse. So what I'm going to do is reinforce that before it's pointless if you don't so reinforce what, what does it, it do well it's going to stabilize those joints so that you um, you want it solid and blocked mm. so that you can curl over them okay right. now if this is flimsy it's going to it's crack. not going to do anything for you so we want to put that in the water and that's the nice, that's the beauty of Plaster of Paris. And we're going to come around and just reinforce this. Okay, so this will harden. make sure it's stuck okay so I like to squeeze that the palm always needs more reinforcement than anywhere else in your cast and 
the the action is constant cyclical repetitive motion so you're going to be moving your fingers move 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 and then you've got three exercises then your thumb you're going to be doing this mm -hmm. and you're going to be doing that so you're going to be doing this this and that It's been a few months where you've really struggled with the range of motion and we have put you into this cast to mobilize you. So if you could just lift your hand up, this is one day later. How does it feel being in the cast? Uh, you know, it's, it's, it's blocking a lot of uh, those feelings because I'm, I'm putting my fingers around this cast and I'm actually able to move the thumb and you can see the thumb is now becoming more flexible and it's amazing in only a day yeah just one one night you've got some range okay so we're doing our a quick review because you live two hours away and so i'm not going to be seeing you um very easily so if you can bend your fingers you can see that it is blocking you here so we need to cut that down um and there is some swelling, so I'll teach you how to manage that. But in terms of the thumb, that's a good position for you because your thumb was out in extension. Mm -hmm. So we've placed you in our position. Can you feel that? Yeah. That new position? Yeah. Okay, so there's two things we're working on. We're working on this IP joint and we're working on the range here. Can you feel that? It's already much better. Mm -hmm. But the thumb is swollen, so we need to manage the swelling. Okay, so let's show everybody your hand. So now we have cut down and away to free up. Okay, bend your fingers and your thumb. How does that feel? Yeah, tighter. Okay. A bit more movement, easier yeah. to move. Yep, yeah. now you can see the thumb is touching the forefinger. Okay, let's move away. Show me. Yes, you couldn't do that before. Yeah. Okay. So we're going to stay in this cast for three weeks and then we will review. We'll either make it bivalve, make more adjustments or make a new cast, depending on how you're presenting in three weeks. And we will see what happens to the scar tissue. So you need to just constantly move your fingers within this cast. Okay. And the movement is what's going to massage the scar and lift that skin. Okay.